ich war mal, ich war mal tot. Ich bin gestorben in einem Fluss. Ah, ja? Und dann bin ich in, 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 dem, in dem Himmel gelandet. Und in dem Himmel ist das so, dass da gibt es keine Gegenstände oder Wesen. Das ist alles nur eins. Und das ist einfach so ein starkes Licht. Ein starkes Licht und eine starke Liebe. Und das ist alles eins. Also das und danach, also danach wurde ich halt wiederbelebt in der Klinik. Und dann bin ich wieder hier, hier zurückgekommen. Und das weiß ich, dass in, in dem Grund bin ich halt eins mit allem. Aber danach meine Bewusstheit halt macht halt diese Trennung auf Personal Bewusstsein. Personal? Ja, ein. I met in Luzern a musician playing a new instrument, Alec. I asked him to talk with me. Alec, from which country you are? I'm, uh, I'm born in uh, UdSSR, in Soviet Union. And uh, right now this territory is Russia, Russian Federation. So I born and grow up there. And uh, so, how I, uh, many years I'm traveling through whole planet here. So I'm now I thinking I belong to the planet. So I'm from the Earth planet. How this idea grow that you want to be a citizen of the world and go to travel? Right. Uh, so when I grow up in Russia and um, not so far from my place we have uh, um, many different tribes. So actually in the place where I'm coming from, from Ural Mountains, we have many different tribes like a Tatar, Udmurts and Bashkirs. There's also tribes that was a Normats. Many of them was a Normats before. And uh, in Soviet Union later on was it forbidden for them to travel so they settled down but m so through these people I received some interesting knowledge from a normal philosophy they say when you keep going you're always excited because you are see new places you meet new people you are see, uh, meet new culture new religions so this excited excitement feeling they say is the uh, same like be, being happy that uh, that holds you always in excitement state and uh, so i decided to try that and uh, because i was really curious about the world how the world are looking so what is happening in the world uh, i start to travel because there's uh, some interesting point uh, that in the uh, Soviet Union we have uh, really less information about the world because the propaganda was very strong and we have only mostly only negative information about the world so and positive about Soviet Union so I wanted to see that with my, my own eyes so I since how many years you are traveling and which places you stood uh, since um, uh, I come out of Soviet Union 1992, so uh, actually I was also traveling a little inside of Soviet Union and visiting some countries, but 1992 I decided to go out, so after that I didn't come back, so I keep going. Yeah. How old are you? I'm uh, 44 right now. So you started young? I started uh, out of my country, I start with 20. And since this time always in Europe mainly? 
yeah, a whole world. I was living in India, I was living in South America. Yes. And how can you survive? How can you survive? Yes, uh, mostly with the art. So I uh, practicing many different arts. So I do music. I do handicrafts art. So I I carving. So I do arts with metals. I uh, I did before art out of leather, but I stop now because my mind changed a little bit so I am not agree anymore with uh, abusing from the animals so I uh, I'm a vegan now I'm and I don't work anymore with uh, animal products so I'm not doing money with uh, animals or with the death of the animals yeah and what was your impression from these western countries out of Soviet Union, it was according to your ideas you had, or what is your experience? Ah, right, right. Uh, this is a long time ago, but uh, actually that was not uh, quite according to my, my ideas, because I know, I was imagining the Western society, uh, or only from uh, Hollywood movies, from these little movies, because the info all Western movie was kind of forbidden in the Soviet Union. So, but in the last time of Soviet Union, before that fall apart, we got to see some movies, and I was imagining like uh, Europe also kind of like a Hollywood, <laughs> like we see in the Hollywood movies. And uh, but I found that very interesting. So and uh, also that as so many countries close to each other in Europe was was very interesting for me to change from country to country and to meet different culture. Yes. So and how? <clears throat> what is now your view of life and mm -hmm. world? You have some philosophy, some religion, or you right. believing in the big spirit of universe, or mm. uh, you are Christian? Right, this is the big question. It's probably uh, can take a long time to talk about that. And uh, uh, right, I actually like kind of uh, religion what we can see from uh, South America this is not organized way of religion is it what the Indians practicing so I was living with the Indians in the rainforest for a long time and as it's something like uh, everyone just believe in a great spirit and practicing by own self without going somewhere or meeting someone or talking about that just practicing uh, holding connection with the great spirit and with the mother earth and uh, so in the same way i see that the great spirit is uh, not somewhere far away from me that is just here in my heart this is the center so same like at center of the galaxy or same like at center of the of our planet or same like at center of our star of uh, of sun so it's the same center so it's not uh, different from the center of the galaxy center of my heart so the the creator is just here with me all the time and with this belief uh, there are some rituals or practice you practice can you practice this or it's just to live and or you don't need some religious rituals right is it i actually doing i think uh, is it possible just to live and to be in connected to your heart but in my way i uh, choose until now is it something that's called rezo? Is it a kind of pray? In Spanish, it's called rezo. Is it? I doing that with tabak. I learned that from uh, Indians. 
from the Native Americans. So with my pipe I do uh, give uh, thanks for for health, for uh, abundance, for happiness, for um, infinity that I feel in myself, for yes, for I I give a lot of thanks, but now is it all in Spanish? I have to translate a little bit so. Uh, also, with giving these thanks on saying some special prayer, prayers, uh, I hold the connection with the uh, center of my heart because the prayers should be saying saying in the heart. So, when the, with the saying prayers, I go to the center of my heart, and I doing that many times a day. And it's only something to do alone for you, or you do it in community also, or you can invent some uh, rituals for communities. Right. I also learned that from uh, uh, Native Americans to do at ceremonies. So I learned many different kind of medicine plants that I share with the people, and in a circle. So. With my prayer, I kind of uh, making antenna for 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 some vibration that so I'm reaching to the points of to the states of consciousness that uh, that uh, giving some vibration out of my heart. So and this vibration spread in the circle. In the ceremony, also uh, can take the people in the ceremony to several state of vibration of uh, light, so we can see, say, and yes. And uh, what makes the people change the vibration? It's by talking from you or from somebody, or by the music, or by the pipe. What what you smoke in this right, pipe? Right, right. There's many different. Um, things that can be helpful in the ceremony, yes, the music, the, so the song also, and uh, the actually I think most important point is that, that this purity of vibration that I hold, that I hold with my daily prayer, so this kind of vibration going out of my heart, that's help to the people to come to this vibration, so is it like a spark in another example is some sparks from the fire that can enlight can enlight the fire of, of the hearts yeah yeah and uh, this is a possibility for everybody to have a power from the heart or to give some energies with the heart or right, is a, good or bad. Yeah, is it a possibility for everyone to open the heart and uh, right now I experimenting in uh, one part of ethnobotanic so I make some experiments for opening the hearts so is it known known practices in the world for opening the heart and I think I find out one practice what is actually happened with the trees so for opening of the heart yeah. the trees just as they stand there right. not cut the trees yes not cut life alive <laughs> yeah <laughs> trees alive that that can really help us to open the heart so right now I'm making uh, experiments so research researching in that and uh, uh, yeah, soon I I want to write a book about that for uh, sharing my knowledge, for sharing my experience about that. So, what kind of experiences are these with the trees? Can you give me some example or a special tree? Which tree you like mostly? Uh, right, is it? Um, I'm going I'm going to many many different trees and. Uh, I really like uh, I'm, I'm almost all of them. So 
as a really a purif big purification to be with them and um, I uh, think the older trees is a more powerful uh, helper for us and uh, I actually channel one song that I sing to the trees is it kind of mantra but is it uh, in a Russian language that I, I channel that in Russian and uh, that's a really simple mantra that when I'm coming to the tree I say these words and uh, it's more or less like uh, uh, it's going up as, as, as it about the love to the mother earth and about the unity of all of us yeah. is it possible that you can also here in this moment give us uh, example or to hear this yes. song? Yes. Lubi 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 like that yeah this is a song you sing in front of the tree to the tree and he mm. gives you back some yeah it's actually I'm, I'm not really sure about the tree give me something I think the tree take something the tree take uh, mm. yes is it uh, some kind of blockages is some kind of spiritual parasites that the human being have on his spiritual body some kind of that they are blocking the energy or we say like energy centers and so the tree is able out of my research the tree is able to take these parasites it's kind of uh, it's also kind of insects spiritual insects and the tree also have different kind of spiritual insects like uh, ants, and bugs. So these insects from the tree can take the in these parasites from the spiritual human body, and uh, they use it for own reason. It's kind of um, this in our planet is kind of automatical uh, healing uh, uh, offices in in the forest that the human can always use and this is uh, it's it all druid knowledge that is that is lost uh, yeah I think the inquisition that was killing uh, witches actually killed millions of people that was holding this knowledge but in a rainforest uh, still people that keep this knowledge because the church doesn't reach there deep to the rainforest this was not possible to reach there when they was looking for uh, witches and uh, and I learned from one old man he's a 95 year old and he is living alone in a deep in the rainforest 
he passed, passed to me some knowledge. He called it white medicine. And I think it's very similar to that, what we was having here, that knowledge that we lost, the Druid knowledge. Why you think the church fight against this knowledge? Can you find a sense of uh, destroying this right. knowledge? Or it's just useful and bad and... Yes, I think uh, it's all about the 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 cyclic cyclic nature of the planet or of our star system also of universe so uh, in my point of view that we have uh, it's also i learned that in south america that we have a galactic day and galactic night in our planet so it's like a, when uh, when our star system so we can imagine that the star the sun that we call sun fly through the galaxy and the all planets flying, spiraling with the sun. So the sun is not standing in one place, that just go with a huge uh, speed through the galaxy. And uh, so for 13,500 years, our sun flying in the part of the galaxy where the, the light from Hunamku, from the central sun, doesn't reach us so well so we have a galactic night so the next 13,500 years we flying through the part of the galaxy is galac where is galactic day where is the sun from the hunamku from central sun reach us very well so we have in the earth we have time of blessing and happiness and abundance so in a in opposite way, in the galactic night, we have a time of ignorance and, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, all the bad, some bad emotion time. So in the, and so this is, I think, in a, in a dark time, in a galactic night, there was a mooning, moving, movings in the planet that was just eliminating a knowledge, just for control of the people and uh, for also for making some businesses because for example now the pharmacy business is very big as a milliards milliards of whatever dollar or whatever they say so when the people have the knowledge that they can just go to the tree and get the trauma therapy and get the all way possible kind of treatments they don't need anymore to go to the pharmacy and to buy the medicine, so the big business gonna collapse. So there's um, also the healthy people, the happy people, they are not more easy to control. They probably not want to go to work so long every day for someone. And I think this kind of all things that holding together. Yeah. I think also that we have go through cycles <coughs> mm. and there are dark cycles but these dark cycles also make possible some other development and I think like individualism that you mm. we discover ourselves as a, a lonely person mm. that is not connected with everything that right. is just standing alone and out of own thinking out of own experience we have to reconstruct the world and this gives us individuality and right, development yeah. yeah i can see that yes i and i can absolutely see that in a dark time we uh, develop our ego yeah so <laughs> and it's actually uh, f for sure for some reason so we develop in the individualism and um, yes Indi yeah, indivi ego is not something bad, as um, individualism, yeah. yeah. But if we can learn again this connection with the nature, the also communicate with the powers of Mother Earth, it can be helpful. But uh, you need also some kind of understanding and knowledge and language of these spiritual matters.
Mm. But and in old times, they had every tribe had his own language, his right, own yeah. uh, model of the how the world was created. But now we have a global science. Science we can talk to everybody in Japan, in America about the, and uh, maybe this is the basic for a global understanding, and to find. Uh, a common language also about these spiritual things. Mm. I don't know. Right. Yes. And somehow we also have to use the language what we have now. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think the the collective awakening is happening just right now all about, all about the planet so because the dark time is end and we are in the early morning of the galactic day or like uh, from hindu mythology maybe we can say the kali yuga is finished so we go to the next yuga to and i think the collective awakening happen and I think more and more people start to become this new understanding, a new language maybe, how you say, about how the nature connected to us, how deeply we are connected in our soul. So, in, so I see that we are, uh, we are not separate from uh, the nature so because through the rituals in the rainforest what what the abuelo teach me uh, I see how deeply I'm connected so that I'm absolutely connected with everything and uh, I feel this oneness yes and it's good to live with this connection with this oneness, because uh, maybe you see also very difficult things who could uh, harm you or you are protected against the bad spirits in this world. Right, uh, yes, I see them and uh, uh, the thing is uh, they are there. The, there's a different kind of spirits we have different kind of walls like um, we can say parallel realities because uh, that was we see now only visible for our physical eyes is not only one world that we have in this planet so from my experience I know here six more walls it's just like a very attached very close to our world they are connected and actually we can say they are not separate, they are really with each other, these walls. And uh, so these spirits, they exist. I see them or not, they're still there. And uh, uh, yes, my protection come from the, from the knowledge that I'm one. So also with that. So, so these different worlds, these different worlds, they, uh, one world exists inside the other one, or uh, it's just a hierarchy? Or it's like, uh, we can say, is an, is an under earth world? Is it over earth world? So I, in my travel I know two worlds up and uh, some worlds down the earth. And uh, it's difficult to, to really know everything about that, but also with our energy centers, we connected to all of these worlds. So each of our energy center is a, is a door to another world, to another reality that exists here in this planet with, a, with own uh, complete uh, universe in this world. There is a beings, there is a animals there is a plants there is a everything in all single world of these worlds and uh, our chakras energy centers is connection to these worlds and uh, when you travel in this other world down or up 
you are losing your consciousness or you just sitting here open eyes and you can go there right um, actually i'm not so far that i can any moment go there as, as can happen in the ceremonies but um, Yes, sometimes this can happen just like that when I'm sitting quiet and uh, so I can see the beings from other world. So when I'm gonna sit quiet here and just just here in this place and maybe smoke my pipe, so uh, I'm gonna see that some other beings from other world gonna come and sit down close and maybe saying something to me. Yeah. What about this pipe? It's not with a marijuana or yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tabak pipe. Yeah, tabak? yeah. It's with tabak. Yes. And it's only the ritual, it's not the... Yeah, the tabak we are not in halt. Uh -huh. And so it doesn't have so much effect. Uh, uh, like in our Western society, the people used to in halt tabak. So Native Americans teach me that there's only really rare, special reasons that you in halt tabak. So in tabak we are not in halt. Tabak we are blown for the spirits. As a soul, yeah. And what do you think about our traditional religions? I mean, you were born as an Orthodox. Right, I'm born in athe in atheist country in Soviet Union, but uh, as it's some post -cri post Christianity, like a post Christian society was there, right? And now is the Orthodox again. And uh, what I'm think about. I think in religion we have a lot of different interesting information about what is actually going on in this planet and uh, sometimes it's difficult to understand for us because it was uh, written long time ago and uh, all the perspective, the view about the world is already way different that this was 2000 years ago for example and uh, but it's a lot a lot of interesting information that i also take from uh, different religions i like to read the sacred books of different religions yeah. also in christianity we have a lot of uh, teaching about this connection between spiritual world and this world we are created in the picture of god so right. the creator himself made us his, his pictures it means also that the whole creation is in our body in our soul right. in our spirit yeah. and we are able to have connection also with that hmm. yes god. i see it like that is uh, uh from um, from a really like uh, simple things like uh, that the Bible say that the demons can affect the the humans so like a uh, modern people maybe can say that uh, some reptilians can affect us so it's just actually the same same thing but as uh, some beings from uh, a world that is close to us that can affect us and uh, also in, until the stories that actually in the Bible we can really understand that the angels also living inside of us or like uh, I see that more that I'm the angel from the other in one other world I'm an angel how I meet my own angel being so I know that I'm an angel in other part of the universe or another dimension so that have one part of his consciousness here like a human and uh, I think uh, it's also possible to find all this information in a Bible or in other sacred books. Yes, but this uh, Bible teaching and also your opinion about when you say I'm an angel, I will be an angel this for many people it sounds like a fairy tale it's right, funny yes yes, yes. is it uh, I, I, almost i think everything that i can say is it uh, like a fairy tale gonna gonna sound for the other people because i'm uh, a lot in contact with uh, fairies 
I really meet the angels, also my own, so myself like an angel and and almost like I know one other state of my consciousness that is mother in earth consciousness. I know I'm also mother earth. I know also I'm a Jesus Christ. I know I'm the creator itself. And for um, most of the people that gonna sound like a fairy tale, uh, it's gonna be funny, uh, right? So what is your hope personally for the future and also for your Enver and peop other people? Hope, yes. I. Uh, I, uh, this is not really hope. I just see that uh, our planet is uh, awakening, and so we are getting all very nice. So we're gonna be just more nice. We're gonna be just more easy and happy. And it's happening little by little with myself and with other people. And I, I hope that it just keep going. And I'm happy. It's not. Like uh, I hope that I just happy about that. Yeah. You are not listening bad news every day. That people uh, are listening right. this and they are afraid that they will be have a big war or we right. we have the the egoism will make that half of people will die from hunger or there will be right. catastrophes. Right. I'm actually is uh, many many years that I was not listening to the news. And uh, I didn't watch TV, and I I don't read newspaper. This information just not coming to me. I don't know about that. So and also uh, I have my own information that is a really positive uh, tendency happening now in the planet. There's a collective awakening and. Uh, I think, uh, yes, for me, it's like uh, that's the, how I say, the light from the central sun reaching our star system, the sun, the sun system and also our planet more and more. So we get going to galactic day and that's, I just feel that every day more and more in my body. You feel it and you see also beginning points of this new area of this... Uh, I mean also Christianity knows that uh, or teach, Jesus teach that the kingdom of God is very near that right. we should be ready because God is coming new to the hearts of the people and bring it's Pentecostal when the Spirit of God will reach human beings and they will understand what Jesus was teaching, they will understand the law that Moses gave and they will live according the will of God. Yes. Yes, I see that coming. So I happy about that. I'm to live in this time. So for me to live in the time of the morning of the awakening is a uh, very nice. I imagine that as there was some more, more dark times in this planet where maybe not so nice to be like in this time. So I hope you will uh, feel and see the truth and we can hope and also work on a better time. Maybe you can give a, an advice to everybody who was listening to you till now. Right, my advice is uh, I spend the time with the trees. It's just to go to the bigger trees, to find a big tree that's growing somewhere close to your house and just spend everyday time with the tree. So this is gonna support you in your health, in your awakening and uh, just giving thanks to the tree for this beautiful possibility to be more healthy. Just giving th thanks for health, thanks for uh, purity. Uh, this is my advice, just to spend every day a little bit time with the tree. 
and so it's gonna be less needed the doctor and the therapist and the medicines yeah it doesn't it doesn't matter whether it's winter and the tree is almost looks like dead sleeping or it's in the full power of uh, springtime or summertime right uh, I still don't know about that because I didn't experience and now the trees in the winter time the, uh, so probably I recommend to go to in the winter time to the to the tan trees tan no how it's called the trees that does have needles uh -huh, yeah right yeah 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 I don't know how it's called in English but uh, yes to go to the trees that awake yes I think it make more sense to go to a wake tree in the winter it's not every tree sleeping in the winter right. Yes, the sun now soon going down. We are sitting still in uh, Luzern, talking to what is your name? Alec. Alec. And uh, we will say goodbye. We just met this evening. I asked him to sit with me here and to talk about his life. Now, you, your personal projects for the next days. Right, I uh, months, years. right. Uh, my personal projects. I keep doing music in the street for the next days. Also, I go to the markets to sell my carvings. I make a uh, different kind of symbols and mandalas, on pipes that I carve, and uh, actually keep my research about uh, the healing that trees can give us. I'm gonna go to many different trees around here. I'm happy to see many many different old trees in Lucerne, like a ma mammoth trees and uh, uh, I don't know all these trees in English. Sorry, my English is still not so good. Yes and uh, yes keep my prayer is uh, the projects and uh, soon I'm gonna put that all in the paper or in electronic books so to share this information about my research with the tree trees. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I wish you that you will realize this book. Thank you very much for thank you. talking with me here thank in this um, Alec. Thank you very much. Ciao. Also in die schamanische Gebete wird, das in Spanisch wird als Rezo genannt, das wird erstmal der Dankgebung gemacht. Man bedankt sich für alles, was man gut hat in dem Leben, an alles, was man sich erinnert, was, was einem gut tut, was man gerade hat. Dann, der Großvater hat mich gelernt, dann sagt man, der Vater unsere, dann sagt man die Ave Maria und dann sagt man die, die Glaube und da, dann sagt man ein Gebet, das heißt in Spanisch Gloria, das heißt äh, Gloria al Padre, al Hijo, al Espíritu Santo, así como era en el principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. So, diese vier Gebete, die in, Christ, in Christianismus verwendet werden, werden auch von den Schamanen in Amazonien Regenwald verwendet, um die Konnektion mit Mutter Erde und mit dem Marschafa und dem Jesus Christ zu halten. Aber die sagen, dass man das absolut alleine ausführt, dass man also nicht wo, irgendwohin dafür gehen sollte. Und man sollte auch mit keinem darüber reden. Es ist eine eigene Verantwortung, diese Verbindung zu halten. Ja. So zum Beispiel der Schaffer, zum, der, zu dem Arschaffer, Maria wird zu, zu der Mutter Erde gesagt. Und der, der Glaube, dass es ein Jesus-Gebet wird zu dem Jesus gesagt, was 
auch bin, ich bin selber bin, also dass unser Kollektivbewusstsein als alle Menschen, dass es auch in mir lebendig ist, ist als, es, als Jesus gesehen von, dies, von der schamanischen Blick. Ja, danke.